Now, as a result of the pandemic, there was a lot of interest in online and hybrid teaching and learning, uh, essentially because everyone had to do it. So while there's no longer as immediate a need for teaching online, there is still increasingly opportunities to do so, particularly if it's done in a more hybrid way where some of the teaching is done online, some of it done face to face. So for example, you might have some student or a student that is going to be hospitalized and you could um, incorporate some aspects of online or hybrid um, teaching and learning so that they can still participate in your learning journey. Or it may be you are going to be away and you prepare material that students can then uh, continue to work on, or indeed you may present remotely so that the learning can occur in that way. Or you may have some students that are traveling or remote um, and they want to still participate. Or you may end up at one of the schools of distance education where all the learning is done online. So there are a range of different techniques and processes that it is useful for you to understand, if only in the hopefully very remote possibility that we have to return to fully online learning. So have a look at some of the different techniques and strategies that are involved in online and hybrid learning and some of the techniques that have been developed around managing um, classes in those situations and how it differs slightly from how we would uh, run face-to-face -face classes. And there are certain techniques and approaches that we need to be mindful of when we are engaged in this particular form of learning 